Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about velvet bags. I am doing a full comparison of the three that I own. So I have them all on the table here. I will show you which one. So I have the Gucci Marmont in the mini size in the black velvet here. I also have the Saint Laurent Sunset in the smaller size also in black velvet. And then I finally have the Saint Laurent Toy Lulu. This is the smaller size they do in the burgundy velvet. I'm going to be covering as many aspects as I can, so I'm not gonna do too much around wear and tear, just because I've only owned two of these for a short amount of time. I am going to be covering care and maintenance though, how you can care for velvet and keep it looking good, as well as my general thoughts about the bags, which one is my favorite, what can fit inside, as well as some modeling shots as well. So if you're interested in any of these bags, I hope you find this useful and let's get started. I did also want to mention that my trees are having a sale at the moment and unfortunately it's only available in the US and Asia but if you are lucky enough to live in one of the applicable countries it is an amazing sale possibly one of the best blanket sales I've seen a luxury store do so there is a tiered discount so there are two spending levels the highest spending level is $2,000 you can get $500 off that so if you do spend around the $2,000 mark it's the equivalent of getting $25 percent off and that's 25 percent off new season saint laurent new season valentino you can get my adorable toy lulu in the sale i think the burgundy is sold out now but you can still get the black and also this amazing deep blue you can also get my sunset bag as well as a ton of other stuff I do have a whole blog post with all my favorite picks from the sale as well as items I already own and love. So if you're interested in checking that out, I will leave that down below. But I will also include all the sale details and the discount codes and everything you need to know to shop the sale down below in the description section if you did wanna check it out. So first up is the Gucci Marmont. As I mentioned, this is in the mini size in the black velvet. I've had this one for the longest time. So I've had this about a year now. So I can comment a little bit more on the wear and tear on this one. But in terms of form and function, it's exactly the same as the other Marmont flaps. It's very easy to wear, very easy to get into. So you just access it with a little clasp right there. And on the inside, it's actually very roomy because you don't have any compartments. So it's just a big open wide space and you do have one pocket there. You do have this beautiful pop of lining, which you can see, and it is a silky material, which I was a bit nervous whether it was gonna wear really badly, but actually I've not seen anything to cause me too much concern. You know, there's a few tiny dirty spots on there, but I've kind of been cleaning as I go and I've not really had any issues and it's not snagged really badly either. So. I am quite happy with the lining. And one of my favorite things about this bag is the fact that you can wear it three ways. So you can obviously wear it doubled up. You can also wear it on the shoulder and you can also wear it cross body. And unlike the other Marmont flaps in the other sizes, so in the small size, which is the next size up, it does tend to get a little bit pointy around the flap area if you were going to wear it a lot cross body whereas that isn't the case with the mini size. I'm not sure if that's all mini sizes, regardless of material, but it's certainly true I found with the mini size in the velvet. It's a lot more rounder on the top and it has just a bit more structural integrity, I think. So it's less prone to being misshapen, which I do really like. So I love the fact that I can wear this across body. I think it has a good length of chain for my height anyway. And overall, I do just really like it. If I was gonna say one negative thing about it, I would say that I think the wear and tear could be a little bit better, but even when I first got it, I did think that the velvet did look a little bit bare in places. I do think that's gotten a little bit worse with time, not in a dramatic way, but as I said, if I was going to pick one negative thing, I do think that the wear and tear would probably be it. I have been keeping it, you know, fairly well cared for and I'm gonna show you how I do that later. Um, but generally, I don't think the velvet is as nice quality as you find on these Saint Laurent bags. Next up is my Saint Laurent Sunset bag. And I've got to say, if I was only judging the three bags on looks, I think this one would probably be my favorite because I think it's absolutely stunning. I love everything about the way it looks. I love the chain. I love the YSL logo on the front. It has a little luggage tag as well with the Saint Laurent stamping. So nice attention to detail. 
and it just opens up. It is accordion style, so it kind of expands out. You have the two compartments, one pocket on the back. It is a leather interior as well, but that does make it a tiny bit more heavy. And then also a pocket on the front as well. So I do think this bag is absolutely stunning. I would say in terms of negative points, because I always think that's important to hear versus just it's super pretty, which it obviously is, but in terms of negative points, it is a bit heavier than the other styles. And I think that is due to the leather interior. You are getting quite a good quality bag, I think, but because that there is an increase in weight, you can fit a decent amount in. It's not huge because of the compartments and just the fact that it is a mini bag, but I'm not put off by the size too much. And as I mentioned, it's very beautiful, of course. So obviously the weight may be a factor for you, but the bigger negative point for me for this bag is the fact that the chain does have a bit of a habit of slipping off if you only wear it on one shoulder. If you wear it cross body, that is not an issue, but if you like to just sling it over your shoulder, then I have noticed it can slip off, especially if you're wearing a coat. If you're wearing light layers, I don't think it would be an issue, but with something bulkier like a coat, I have noticed that this does slip off a little bit, which is a little bit annoying. That said, even though there are those negative points, I would say that the velvet quality is absolutely beautiful. And if I was comparing this directly with the Gucci Marmont, which obviously is right here, I do think that the velvet is a lot nicer on the Saint Laurent than it is on the Gucci. It just feels a lot thicker and more plush and just generally more luxurious and better quality. I just think it looks a lot nicer as well. So. In terms of purely judging the velvet, the Saint Laurent is nicer, but it does have a habit of slipping off if you did want to wear it just on one shoulder. And then finally, I have my Saint Laurent Toy Lulu here. This is in the smaller size, which is why they call it the Toy Lulu. The regular Lulu is just called the Lulu bag. There's nothing else to that name. And that one does have a chain strap. This one comes with an all leather strap, which is also adjustable as well, which I love. It is definitely a mini bag, but it's still fairly big in terms of, you know, it's not very slimline. It's also fairly tall, so. Definitely a mini bag, but it is a fairly decent size. And then on the inside, there's actually a lot of room. So you have one compartment right here, a zipper pocket at the back, one slimline pocket right in the middle, which divides the compartments, as well as a larger pocket on the front, which also has some card slots as well. So you have the Saint Laurent stamp right at the back there. And you can fit a surprising amount inside, and I will show you how much you can fit inside later on. I would say I do think this is such a cute little bag. If you've ever seen this bag in real life, you'll know how plush and puffy the quilting is. It's absolutely beautiful. It's very comfortable to wear as well. It's very lightweight, much more so than the Saint Laurent Sunset. Probably comparable to the Gucci Marmont. I would say actually it's still a little bit lighter though because you do have the chain which weighs the Marmont down a little bit. Whereas this is just very light in general because of the leather strap and it's very, very comfortable to wear, very easy to access as well, and I only have good things to say about this bag. I think it's super cute. In terms of negatives, I don't actually have too much to say about it. The other two bags, there were very specific things in terms of the wear and tear and the weight and the chain. I don't have any of those things to say about this bag. Obviously, this is very new, so I can't really say anything in terms of how it's been wearing, but I don't see any immediate causes for concern. It's very comfortable to wear, it's very easy to access, the capacity is good, and just generally, if you like the look of it, I think it's a great bag because there are no obvious flaws. So I'm a huge fan of this one, no negative points so far, and I've just been really enjoying using it. Okay, so I have the three bags right here and I'm gonna show you exactly what can fit inside all of them. I filled up the biggest one by a smidge with items. And I'm gonna transfer the items from the Gucci Marmont into each Saint Laurent bag, showing you how much can fit in each. So inside here, as you can see, it is pretty full. So I have a pair of sunglasses, a wallet, this is the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet, a card holder, a key holder, a hand cream, but this is a mini size, a lipstick, and then also an iPhone, and this is the iPhone XS. I'm gonna show you what can fit inside the Saint Laurent Toy Lulu bag. 
So in goes my phone. There's actually a fair amount of room in the front pocket. And if you can see that, there are also card slots as well. So if you wanted to forego a wallet completely, you could do that. Or there is ample room for a wallet on the smaller side as well. So it's nice that you do have that option. My key holder, my card holder even. I put my keys in the back. My lipstick my little mini hand cream as well and then finally i'm just going to perch my sunglasses on there definitely a neat fit you could probably put something on there so yeah, i would say it's probably equal to the gucci marmod i could have fit a tiny bit more in here and the same goes for this bag so they are pretty equal and then I have my Saint Laurent sunset bag here and this one definitely is a little bit smaller. It does have the compartments as well. So you can still fit a wallet inside though and my key holder. My card holder goes inside too. And then there is still room for a few products. And actually I'm gonna switch up that order and put my card holder in the front pocket there because it's just a little bit too small for my phone. And I'm gonna fit my phone in the back. And that's pretty much it for this bag. I can't fit inside my sunglasses. If I was to forgo the wallet, I probably could fit in my sunglasses. I move this one to the back. Yeah, so my sunglasses do fit inside there. I can actually put my lipstick on the top there and that is a fine fit. And actually I usually don't use a full size wallet with this one. I just take my cards out and I usually pop them inside there. So there is still a decent amount of room for a mini bag, um, but it does just hold a little bit less than the other two. Next up, I wanted to talk care and maintenance because I definitely get a lot of questions about this and I wanted to recommend two items in particular if you were considering a velvet bag. So the first one is just a lint roller. You'll probably have one of these lying around the house already, but if you don't, they're really inexpensive. I think I got this one for 99p from H&M. So they don't cost much, but they are so helpful with keeping the white fluff at bay from your bag because velvet bags do tend to attract a lot of fluff. It's not as bad as some people think, I think. So I think I've had to do my sunset bag once since owning it. So it's not too bad at all. And you literally just kind of go over it and it just collects any little bits of fluff. So not terribly high maintenance at all. It takes a couple of seconds and it really does help. And as I said, I haven't had to do it too much at all, but it's definitely a useful one to just get rid of all those little bits of white fluff. And then the next thing I would recommend is a protectant spray. And I've talked about these before. I spray my suede boots with them and all kinds of things really, but definitely when it comes to something that is very textured like a velvet bag, I think spraying it and protecting it is so important. So I use a few different ones, but the one I reach for the most is the Scotchgard multi-purpose spray. I think this one comes in different packaging in the US, but it is available and you can honestly get this from so many different brands. So it doesn't have to be Scotchgard but I use this one because it's multi-purpose so you can use it on sofas, on upholstery, anything really. I'm planning on doing my rug with it because I got a white rug so I'm going to spray that with it. It's just a very, very useful spray. I was a bit concerned about using this on velvet, not because it color changes, but because of the feel of velvet, I think is so important to the overall appeal of velvet. So what I actually did was I had some fabric samples. We were actually considering getting a velvet sofa at one point. So I got some samples in. And I realized that these were perfect to test out the spray. So I sprayed the sample first and then I went to check on it in a few hours. And I was really happy that the texture and the feel hadn't changed. So then I was more than happy to go ahead and spray my bags, which I now have done. So if you do have a fabric sample lying around or even an old bit of velvet clothing, I would definitely recommend doing that just to give you the extra peace of mind. But as I said, I've not had any problems with spraying mine. I'm really happy with the way they still feel. And it does just offer that extra bit of protection. It's not gonna protect against, you know, getting scratches or anything, but certainly against the rain or any elements, it does just offer a little bit of added protection just to give you that peace of mind. So this is the Toy Lulu. As you can see, it fits very nicely crossbody. I am five foot seven for reference. It's a very, very comfortable bag to wear. 
super comfy, a nice kind of decent length strap. It's not too thick, but at the same time, it's not overly thin, so it's going to be rubbing or anything like that. This is what it looks like just on the shoulder. This is my favorite way to wear it in terms of how it looks, I think. Just a very nice size as a kind of more evening style bag. Just very elegant to wear as well, I think. And this is it crossbody. You do have the leather strap there, which does make a difference in terms of comfort. So it's still very comfortable to wear crossbody. It does sit a little bit higher than the Lulu, I think, but I will wear them all at once so you can see but it is a very nice option to wear it like this and I like the fact that you do have the option of wearing it all three ways, which does make it quite versatile. And this is the Marmont Mini just on one shoulder. Because you have the larger leather bit right here, this one doesn't have any issues in terms of sliding off. So it's a very comfortable fit, it stays on very well and it's a very, very comfortable bag to wear in general. And this is what it looks like crossbody. I really like to wear this bag crossbody. It's probably my favorite way to wear it. I think it looks great like this and I relish the fact that I can wear this without worrying about it getting too pointy at the top. So if I use this bag, it is usually crossbody and it's very, very comfortable because of the leather strap right here. It's much longer than the sunset version. And I just love to wear this bag like this. And here are all three bags on me. I know I look ridiculous, but I always think this is helpful in terms of the chain length or the strap length. I'm actually pretty surprised because I thought there would be more difference than there is, but they all sit pretty evenly. So these are all crossbody, as you can see, and I've had to move the Gucci Marmont a bit more to the center because of lack of room, but they all sit at pretty much the same height. So I'm guessing that's why they're all good to wear as a crossbody, but also on the shoulder as well. So that's my Toy Lulu. Gucci Marmont, and then also the Saint Laurent Sunset, all pretty similar chain lengths. Maybe the Gucci Marmont is a tiny bit shorter, but really there isn't much in it. They are all good to wear crossbody if you're around my height, which is five at seven. Otherwise the Sunset isn't adjustable, nor is the Gucci Marmont, but the Saint Laurent Toy Lulu is. And then finally, I wanted to do a little conclusion and a comment about which is my favorite. I do like all three, but if I was going to pick only one, the Saint Laurent Toy Lulu does edge it slightly for me. I think it's absolutely adorable, and unlike the other two, which do have some negative factors for me, this one really doesn't. I find it to be very functional, you know, it's easy to access, it fits a decent amount for a small bag. It's also very comfortable to wear. And I love the fact that it does have a leather strap, which does just make it a little bit more casual because I think that velvet is quite a dressy material. So anything that can make it a little bit more casual and versatile, I am totally on board with. And I think the leather strap does do that. So I'm a huge fan of this. I like wearing a crossbody just across the shoulder. I just think overall it is very cute and functional and fit for purpose. I do like the other two, as I mentioned, and if I was only judging based on looks, I would probably go for the sunset, but I do think that the strap lets it down ever so slightly, but still a very beautiful bag that I'm very happy to have in my collection. As for the Gucci Marmont, I do still really like it, but I've got to say, if I was choosing between this and the leather versions, I would choose the leather versions any day. I think they wear better, and just generally I prefer almost everything about them, with the exception of the fact that this does retain its shape better around the flap area. But that said, I would still pick the leather versions. The velvet is nice, but I do think that Saint Laurent does do velvet a little bit better. It's just a nicer quality velvet. They are more plush and luxurious, whereas this feels just a little bit thinner and it doesn't wear as well because of that, I think. So for me, I prefer the leather versions, or if I'm going for velvet, I do prefer the Saint Laurent versions. So that is it for this video guys. I hope that I covered everything that you wanted to know, but if there are any missing details, then let me know down below and I will try and answer you. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please do give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.